Hi guys, so today we will be starting with a new series in which we will be discussing some questions from the Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University. So specifically, here is a copy of second year of computer engineering syllabus. In this, we will be seeing the questions from data structures laboratory. So there is a subject called as data structures laboratory in second year computer engineering. So we will be referencing some questions from this laboratory. So DSL or data structures laboratory is a lab session or a practical subject in which you have to practically implement the knowledge you got from the fundamentals of data structures. This is an another subject explaining data structures and algorithm. So you have to implement the theoretical part using some of the questions given here. So here you can see some of the questions. So this is group B. These are some questions up to 18 group C 19 to 24 group D and group E. So here we can see group A to E. So let's just see some uh, important instructions given by them. So here group A B assignment should be implemented in Python without using built in methods for major functionality of the assignment. So then use list data structure of Python as array. Group C D and E assignments should be implemented in C++ language. So basically they have given five groups group A, B, C, D and E. In this group A and B should be implemented using Python and without using built in methods. So as we know in Python we don't have anything such as array. It contains a list data structure. So in Python we have to use list instead of array. And then group C, D and E assignment should be done in C++ language. So here they have not given any barrier for using C++ language. Then here are some recommendations. So first of all operating system recommendation use any 64 bit open source Linux or its derivative. So as per the recommendation I have an Linux distribution called as Linux Mint. And for the programming tools recommendations open source Python programming tools like Jupyter Notebook, PyCharm, Spider, G++ and GCC. So open source Python, G++ and GCC are pre-installed in the Linux distribution. So there is no need to install this. But we would need a text editor. So let's just set up the things we would need in the next video. And then we can directly jump on to the questions. So that's all for this video. Let's meet in our next video.